My name is Maria Manatu Matos, and I am from Puerto Rico, and I came to Pittsburgh to go to college. I'm from a small town called Arroyo. Arroyo is a beautiful small town, and I had the privilege of living two blocks a walk from the Caribbean Sea. Right now, I spend most of my time developing Presente Pittsburgh Latino Magazine. Presente is a publication that looks to engage, empower, connect the Latino population here in our region. The Latino community in Pittsburgh is diverse. I think there's people from a lot of different countries. There's a big professional group. There's more recent immigrants that are looking for other kinds of opportunities. But overall, I think that there is a lot of diversity. Pittsburgh is a beautiful city. I live both in the city and then in the suburbs. I think the nature, the parks here is just amazing. People are very kind and welcoming. That's the reason why I'm here. As a Puerto Rican, I feel both like a Latina and an American. I grew up speaking Spanish in a very traditional Latino home. I remember growing up, it was a lot of merengue and salsa, and uh, many of the songs mentioned the other countries and, and were brothers and sisters. So there was that connection. But I think there are many big misunderstandings about who Puerto Ricans are here in the United States. You meet many people who are not aware, like they've never heard that Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens or that Puerto Rico is part of the United States. I've had people ask me um, how I got my work permit or ask for a passport when I showed my Puerto, Rica, Puerto Rican's uh, driver's license. Those things, I think, especially in the beginning when you get here, they're very shocking because I think when you're in Puerto Rico, at, at least where I grew up, you're very kind of proud, you know, of, of that relationship with the United States and, and, and you're a U.S. citizen and you're very excited about it. And then when you get here and you get those kind of questions, it's just shocking and it bothers you. One of the most beautiful things that happen when you leave the place where you are from is you both appreciate that place even more, but then also you gain a different perspective on life, you know, and, that, and that's what I gained here. As human beings, we are all looking for the same thing. We all want opportunity, health, we want a good future for our families. And if you look at each other that way, I think you'll always find a connection. The values I appreciate as an American citizen are being generous, being welcoming, the opportunities there are to develop and to make a, a difference for your community. Bueno, a los latinos que están, ¿verdad? que acaban de llegar, eh, lo que yo les recomiendo es que se mantengan obviamente en contacto con su familia, con su país, como puedan. Eh, y también aquí que vengan con la mente abierta, que hay muchas oportunidades y hay personas buenas que quieren ayudar, pero que se concentren en, en lo positivo, en lo bueno. Y si es que les ocurre algo malo, pues miren, no deje que eso le detenga, hay que seguir adelante. The challenging thing about the Latino community in Pittsburgh is that everyone is spread out and that connection is missing. That is why Presente is here, just to start building that connection so that we become more of a cohesive community. It's especially important to have a community when you get here. I think those first few years, like five to 10 years, are very hard. In my first years as a university student, there was a lot of adapting to life. I think more as a student than as a citizen or part of the community. And I think at some point I became lost in that, you know, just getting very adapted, like so well adapted that I almost like lost. Um, my background, but eventually I, I, I found it again. And, and I think it's very important and, and it's very true that in the process of adapting, uh, you have to kind of wrestle with that. Um, it's adapting, but also keeping from your background. The legacy I want to leave for my children is to always 
remember that there's a whole world out there and that um, they can contribute, they can be contributing members of society, uh, both, you know, maybe in terms of like financial, you know, just contributing to people in need, but also uh, living their passion and sharing that with the community.